Welcome back, YouTubers. This is a review of Figma number 426, the female master from Fate Grand Order. Now, let's get started. First of all, take a look at the box. Pretty standard, has the master command spell there. Back of the box, side. Pretty simple. Now, on to the figure. Now, much like the figure I did last time, the male master version, as you can see here in comparison, they are very much the, similar to each other. In fact, they come with all the same accessories. The apple, three sink quartz, a ball joint hand as a replacement in case one of the joints breaks, and trust me, those can quite easily as well as two alternate faces and a set of hands. Now an important thing to mention is that the pre-order for both these figures would, from Good Smile's main site, which would be more expensive than most places, also came with a blank set of hands and a set of stickers that you could decal onto them to have the command spell partially depleted. One, two, or none, obviously, for this hand. However, I feel that is a silly pre-order bonus, as stickers like that frequently lose their adhesion over time. So I just went with a cheaper option. Now, as you can see, she's got her slightly angry face. Her ponytail also moves, so you can move that around if you want. But otherwise, she's got that face, her happy open face, and of course, her smiling, closed mouth face. As well as a variety of hands, including one to hold the apple, because this plug fits into the back of the apple, including the male master one, which, as you can see, is an interchangeable part between the two of them. Now, one thing to take note of is the command spells themselves, or command seal. Interchangeable means the same. As you can see, they're slightly different. Not a huge difference, but just something to keep in mind if you ever can't tell the difference between the two. And of course, you can put them in various poses, just fairly good movement, and I recommend the stand this way. It works a lot better. <clears throat> Hip joint in the waist up here instead of down here, and pretty good arm and head rotation. So overall, a pretty good figure. The only downside to this figure is really the accessories it comes with. Like I said, while those are the same as the Male Master, both figures, the parts, while nice, especially compared to when I first reviewed it, I really do wish they had given us something else, preferably effect parts or something. But we can't get what we want all the time. And of course, you can change out the parts, so if you want to, you can make her summon a servant, especially if you have a good diorama set up. Something I've been thinking of doing myself, in fact. Overall, she's a good one, and definitely if you like this design, go for it. But I wouldn't pay too, too much for this. Like I said, there's not a lot in these. Overall, though, a good figure. At any rate, please like, subscribe, comment on my Twitter below, and share this video with your friends, and I'll see you all next time around. Ciao!